Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that find on the world of Transformers and let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. So part two of Friday's news, uh, we've got an abundance of TV spots, I've stopped putting them on now because again, I think there's too many. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a rough idea of how many there are there, to be honest. So we've got, number spoiler number six, all of these images and most of the stuff I get is from either T-Formers or TFW 2005. So if you wanna catch hold of them without the glare and the reflection, or indeed to watch any of these spots, just go straight there. So there we go, there's one new TV spot there. There's another one there called Stop, Drop, Shut Them Down. Um, and then, funnily enough, moving on to these. I'm gonna highlight and showcase you these, but I'm also gonna, I suppose, ask at the end if anybody's got any. You can order them via HMV Japan. These are Takara Tomy Transformer Studio Series, X Nemesis Prime and Kingdom KDX Burning Optimus Primal Revealed. Now, on TF W2005, there is a link there to the Japanese HMV and stuff, but I can't work it out for the life of me. Now, these are two special figures. Both figures will be exclusive campaign items for Beast Awakening, which is what they're referring, that's what they're calling it in Japan. So it's not called Rise of the Beast, it's called Beast Awakening. You have to order any toy plus a ticket from the movie premiere. Um, and basically it's $53.73 approximately. And it's, this is from the 1st of June to the 3rd of August. The toys will be delivered after January next year. And there's also an option to pre-order Burning Optimus Prime from HMV, HMV and Books website starting on July the 1st. If anybody, again, has any information on how I can get hold of this in the UK, or if anybody spots a website in the US where you can get hold of these, please let me know, because everybody on the, who knows this channel or who knows me knows that I'm an absolute sucker for a redeco, and I just love this. Look at this, translucent red plastic for the uh, Burning Optimus Primal. Looks spectacular. Really, really want this figure, I'm not gonna lie, I really do. And their take on Nemesis Prime, again, I think it just fits that mold perfectly, it looks really good. They're gonna be exclusive, they're gonna be quite tough to get hold of. So again, if anybody has any information as well, how we can find them elsewhere, please let me know. And obviously I'm supposed to be me, me giving you the information, but I perhaps just can't decipher it. Some people like Ben Williams on here is brilliant. He might know how to find it. And if he finds a way to work it out, I will of course post a link on here. Okay, funnily enough, another Rise of the Beast TV spot, again off TFW 2005. This is the Chinese spot. It's all in English, but with Chinese writing. Um, and again, it's apparently got a couple of extra little clips that we haven't seen just yet. Yet again, there is another one. This is TV spot number seven. And it says here that this clip contains spoilers. So again, I've definitely not watched it. Um, there's just too much now and I don't want to ruin it. There's way too much. Talking of way too much, here comes the merch train. So these are Rise of the Beast yogurts <laughs> that have hit US retail. There is Rise of the Beasts. These are plasters, adhesive bands found at Target, plasters, and indeed KFC have confirmed and announced that as soon as the movie hits, they're gonna be doing, obviously, Rise of the Beast toys, themed meals, etc. So expect some kids' toys. Um, it just says here, KFC Singapore collaborating with Paramount Pictures. And usually if it starts off in one place, it spreads worldwide. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for them as well. One final TV spot by the look of this. This is an extended TV spot called Not Alone. As I say, you can watch hours near enough of footage of this now. Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. I think if you put them all together, I know you're gonna see a lot of the same clips, but there's gotta be close to half an hour's worth of footage out there already. So again, that's another reason why I've stopped putting it on here, um, but I'm gonna tell you where you can go and find it if you want to see it. Right, lots of people have been asking me this, um, but obviously I don't know the official date, but just to alleviate you guys and just to reassure you, Core Class Starscream is being repackaged and he is coming out from the Kingdom lineup and repackaged in Legacy Evolution. He is confirmed, we don't have a date yet. These images are from T-Formers, and again, it just confirms exactly what I've just said. He's definitely getting a, re a package refresh, but we don't know the exact date. So for those people who are holding out for him, he is coming. This is something that I showed again a few months back, but they're now officially out. These are, they're expensive, but they look really good. So you've got scooters, go-karts, and indeed segways, and indeed a kid's C8 electronic scooter. So there is the electronic Megatron scooter for adults. There you've got the actual go-karts as well, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, and there indeed is the motor-powered 
and we'll be kids scooter as well so go to let's see which website it says just to check it out i know i did videos on these ages ago uh but if you head to segway x the website is no that's it, it just says head to the segway x transformers and if you type that in you will be able to guide it to their website if that's something you want to purchase right i've been around all of course the weebos for the third party companies so this is and i'm gonna get no it's not energy dragon any dragon it's Trypticon. little monsters there take on wheelie they've got another deco of him this is a battle damage one and what it actually says which i like each painting will be slightly different so every figure is going to be slightly different which is either a great get out of jail uh, card for they can just spray or whatever they do for the deco completely have them all different and not have to worry about it um what it means that they are taking the time to do decos differently on every single one. So this again is taken from Revenge of the Fallen's um, Wheelie. This is Dr. Wu's little take on him, little monster. I like the look of this to be fair. I've not pulled the trigger on him. Um, remember, this is even smaller than the legend scale figures. Let's try and get no glare on it. You can see there's bits of dirt on him, bits of worn out paint, bits of rust looking on it. Um, and again, I think it looks great, uh, but that's about the sixth or seventh deco of that, I think, so far. So maybe I might have a look at it, but at the moment, not not just yet. I'm going a bit crazy with these third party stuff at the moment. And this one, um, I'm not, not I, I may get it, who knows, who knows. This one I've definitely got on pre-order though. So this is Magic Square's take on Swindle. This is, what's his proper name? Here we go, Munitioner. So there he is next to their take on Brawl. I've done a video on Brawl already. So this is both of them with the normal, just standard colored feet. You can see there, so you've got an idea of what Bruticus's legs are gonna look like. There he is in robot mode. He's looking great. I'm really impressed with these figures. Can't wait to get hold of them myself, to be honest. There they are together. Um, these are again available for pre-order on Show Z. I'll show you in a second. There he is front and back. And that, that's it. Moving on then to TFK, TFCon Toronto. Confirmed guest Frank Todoro. Is that Todoro? It is, yes. Todoro, of course, from Voices for Starscream. And here's something that we've seen before, so I've not got loads of images, but if you're lucky enough to live in Chicago or we'll be anywhere near it, that is where the Rise of the Beast statues are going to be so there's a few pictures here and videos of all of them setting the statues up but again we've seen these in abundance of times i just want to make you guys aware that he's there that they are there in chicago but the great news is look you can see mirage is going to be there as well so i feel a bit sorry for all the people who had the first set of statues because they didn't have mirage whereas now mirage is looking to be a part of all of them right final thing and i really want this but i can't justify the price in the uk at the moment it's 65 pounds it's shattered glass, leader class, Grimlock, Hasbro Pulse shipped him out at the beginning of the week, unbelievably. So if you start to see videos of these out everywhere, he's been out in the UK for a couple of days already. There he is next to, of course, the normal studio series, Grimlock. I do like it. I'm a fan of the mold. Um, I'm going to resist full on FOMO and hope that he gets reduced because I definitely want one because I love the shattered glass, but I just can't justify that price at the minute. Okay, moving on to show Z. So here's some pre-orders. There's the arc from New Age You Can Build Yourself. There's the roller for the masterpiece figures that looks incredible. There, of course, is Magic Squares uh, Swindle, which I've just shown you right there. There's some movie figures there based, uh, there's some bubble movie figures. There is, what have we got on this one? There's the rest of the Magic Square. Fans Toys pre-order on Blitzwing. New Age's new deco on Hound. Um, again, so, so much. To choose from this is just a little selection and indeed same as on the video i've been told that this is an absolute steal so i want to let everybody know that if you're collecting the x-trans bots and you want to build them up to menasaur this is not just the trailer this is the accessory pack as well included and i've been reliably informed that the accessory pack was 70 plus by itself if you'd like to buy any of them your support for my channel would be greatly appreciated put toys r rust all in one word there for me please because again, it really does help this channel out. So with regards to reviews, In Demand have confirmed that they've shipped my Wardorn pack. They've got that on import. So I've paid probably a little bit more than it would cost when it eventually comes out here in the UK. But the Wardorn pack should be getting here. So hopefully I can get the review of that done over this weekend. Couple more showcases, hopefully a few more maybe funny shorts. Um, and just again, trying to keep on top of everything else that's going on in this crazy world of Transformers right now. Thank you everybody for the support, channel members, shows you support, etc. It really means a lot. Let's see if we can get 10K subscribers by TF Nation in August. Thanks everybody, take care.